Hey guys, Tech Control with the video for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix a contact that has FaceTime grayed out or it's not working and it used to work for you. So if you go into your contact, let's say you have a friend or someone and you're looking to FaceTime them, FaceTime video or the audio is grayed out or isn't allowing you to select it. So how can you fix that problem? Well, let's get started in terms of troubleshooting and fixing that problem. So whenever you're having this issue, very first thing is pull on the control menu here put your phone in airplane mode briefly and then turn it back off and that is a quick network refresh of your Wi-Fi and your cellular data because FaceTime and audio message requires you to have internet connection and if you're having any connectivity issue that will fix the problem for you. The next thing you want to verify under your contact that doesn't have it is to ensure that you have their correct email and phone number and Either way will work, most likely phone number, verify that's the correct number or the email that they're using if they're using it on a device with just email. That has to be correct because or else you will not be able to FaceTime them. Also verify with your friend or family that you're trying to FaceTime that they still have their iPhone or Apple a device because if they switch their phone to an Android, you won't be able to directly FaceTime them unless you go ahead and create a FaceTime link for them which you can do by creating a FaceTime link and even if they have an Android phone they can join that call but it won't have that direct feature available on the contact app. Now if you verify that they still have an iPhone and everything is good to work the next thing you can try to do is deleting their contact and then recreating it. Before you do that of course save the information if you want to screenshot their phone number and email usually you can press the volume up and the side button at the same time so you keep a screenshot so that next time you create it by going ahead and edit and then you'll go ahead and delete the contact right so the contact that you have you can go ahead and delete that contact and then add them again with their information and then whatever you took a screenshot should be on your photos right you can copy that information over from the photos app and then you will fill that in and hopefully after you fill that in and you click on that FaceTime is available for them. Now if it's still not available the next thing you want to try to do in your phone to fix this problem is go into your setting of your iPhone right once you go into your setting of your iPhone you're going to go to the setting it's going to look like this you're going to general go all the way down here it says transfer reset iPhone click on that and then you're going to want to do a reset the first option and you're going to do a network reset. So what a network reset does is reset things like your saved Wi-Fi, password, any Bluetooth connected devices but the settings themselves because if you're having connectivity issues you have to reset it and then you know, sign into your Wi-Fi again or log into your Wi-Fi and hopefully after that it fixes the problem for you. Also verify that your cellular data is working on your iPhone as well. Now after you have done it, a network reset which takes about a minute or two and it's still not working it's time to go ahead force restart your iPhone. So in order to force restart you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down one after another so we'll do volume up, volume down then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo at that time and let go of that button. So I'm going to do volume up, volume down, finally hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and I'm not going to slide to power off that will be a normal shutdown so I wait for it to completely shut down and then I will wait and let go of that button and now I have done a forced restart so this will shut down the phone, completely reload the code so if it's a software related issue it will fix that issue for us and hopefully our contact that has FaceTime or message or audio message will work again. Now if it's still not working the next thing you want to do is go into your setting of your iPhone, go to general and this time under date and time you want to verify that the time zone that you're in is the actual correct time zone locally. So this will change if you're traveling or move from a different one area to another. By default automatically should pick it up but if it doesn't you can turn it off and manually set the time to the correct time zone that you're in. But eventually come back and set this to automatically because it will pick up the automatic time and date and hopefully FaceTime is working for you. Now if it's still not working next thing to verify in your setting of your iPhone under screen time so if you go into your setting of your iPhone you'll see there's a setting for screen time you're going to click on that and under content and privacy restriction if you have this turned on you want to ensure that under allowed apps 
FaceTime is available for you if you're using content and restriction. But go ahead and turn it off if you can. Completely turn off content and privacy restriction and go ahead and see if your contact now has your FaceTime available for them. Finally, if all of this stuff has in work for you, the next thing you want to check out in your iPhone under the settings here is go to your FaceTime option here, turn off FaceTime briefly for a moment and then turn it back on. That will reactivate or reload your FaceTime settings. So if it's something on your end with your FaceTime not working correctly, it will work for you. And also verify that your FaceTime has at least an email or phone number available so that it can actually use that. If you don't have anything here, go ahead and add it there. By default, it should take your Apple ID and your phone number that's linked with your account there. But if not, make sure it's there for you. Finally, after you have done all of that, it's time to go ahead into your settings, go to general software update and see if there's an update available. And if there is, go ahead and download the update itself because sometimes there might be a fix or bug going around that Apple has released and you want to make sure your phone is up to date with the latest version of the update. When you do update your phone, make sure it has at least 50% or more charge for the update to successfully complete. You're connected to strong Wi-Fi or cellular data and give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes to be able to download the update itself and successfully install it. And lastly, the one thing you want to check is if you're still having issues is that Apple servers are working for FaceTime and iMessage. In order to do that, you're going to go into your browser of your iPhone here. We're going to go to Safari or whatever browser you have and search up Apple system status. So if you search up Apple system status, the very first link will be to Apple's system status, which Apple basically provides the status of their system. So if there is a system that's under maintenance or are currently unavailable or down, you can see it here. Generally, if you click on that icon here, you can look for things like iMessage, make sure it's available for you to use on your iPhone, and then FaceTime as well. Make sure this service is available. If for some reason this service says unavailable or under maintenance or currently not working, you just have to wait till Apple fixes it. Generally, Apple will fix their services within hours at most, maybe a day or two, but generally they'll fix it really quick because every, everyone relies on Apple services. So that's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful in fixing your FaceTime be grayed out on your contact. And if it does fix it for you, hit that like and subscribe button. Also, while you're at it, if you did find a better way to fix your a problem that we haven't discussed in this video, leave a comment in the comment section so that everyone else can also benefit from your comment. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.